everyone this is nate from voltage welcome to our video on lightning network privacy for those that don't know voltage is a leading industry bitcoin development platform and infrastructure provider the lightning network is very different from on-chain bitcoin regarding what information you might be exposing to not just the lightning network but also on-chain payers receivers so as a quick refresher, the Lightning Network is a set of connected computers using node software to tell each other about the network itself. And the Lightning Network is composed of liquidity channels that these nodes are uh, using to move Bitcoin around in a onion method. And for those that don't know, an onion messaging system, like how the Lightning Network uses it, is uh, one where as the information or the payment goes through the network, the node that is moving the payment along only sees one hop behind and one hop forward and doesn't know that uh, doesn't know if the hop forward or backward is uh, the origin or the destination. All it sees is that oh, there's a payment coming through and forwarding through. So one of the big things to keep in mind about the Lightning Network, and especially when running a Lightning node, is cross-layer data leakage. And what I mean by this is that when you open or close a Lightning Network channel, the on-chain footprint comes along with it. So if you are opening a channel to your friend, to your friend's node, and it's from a Bitcoin, a UTXO that is from an exchange that knows your name and your address and your identifying information, uh, they can actually see that you're opening a lightning channel. And not only that, they can see what your lightning node is. So you would essentially be telling this provider, this service, exchange, etc., that knows your name and everything, what your node's public key is. Your node's public key cannot be changed. It will always be a part of your node. And so this also applies to closing channels. When you close a channel and you get funds from your Lightning channel back to on-chain Bitcoin, and if you send that to a destination that knows your real name, et cetera, then they will be able to tie that to your Lightning node and you will have essentially told them that that's your Lightning node. Those are the really two big uh, cross-layer data leakage scenarios that you should keep in mind. So um, so what can you do to avoid that? You can use CoinJoin, collaborative transactions, things like Join Market and Whirlpool to uh, essentially protect your privacy from those uh, entities that know your real name. Now, once you're in the Lightning Network natively, you've already opened up channels. What are some privacy issues within the Lightning Network as a closed system? You know, at first glance, the Lightning Network definitely seems a lot better, right? All of the payments are not told to the entire world, um, but there are some things to keep in mind. For example, if you are receiving a Lightning Network payment through something called a BOLT11 invoice, BOLT is an acronym that stands for Basics of Lightning Technology. It's basically the protocol spec specifications uh, for the Lightning Network, there's a standardized invoice. Um, if you give that invoice to somebody to pay you, they are easily able to decode that invoice and see what the final destination is. So if you want somebody to pay you, but you don't want them to know what your node is, then don't give them an invoice generated from your node. Uh, there are some solutions in the works for this uh, receiver privacy problem on the Lightning Network. Uh, one of them is a uh, using services such as Voltage Flow 2.0 that actually um, creates a secondary invoice that you can give to your sender, and then the Voltage Flow 2.0 ricochets that uh, essentially to your own node. So in that scenario, Voltage would know what your real node is, but the sender of the payment would not. Further, there's some uh, protocol improvements being uh, developed and discussed, such as blinded paths 
that may help a uh, receiver privacy in the future. Now, if you are sending payments, uh, it's a lot better because even though the receiver is uh, sees that the payment goes through and the payment completes, they don't know exactly the origin of the payment. So sending on the Lightning Network is a much more private action than receiving at this time due to the uh, Bolt 11 data decoding. Now, as for mobile wallets, non-custodial Lightning wallets are going to be using what's called Lightning Service Providers. And this is actually a privacy benefit, for, especially for receiving. As I mentioned earlier, the Voltage Flow 2.0 uh, LSP, uh, it does provide this service, and it provides this service in uh, the new Mutiny wallet. In the future, many privacy problems that exist today, and I am recording this in September of 2023, will likely be fixed. For example, the on-chain opening and closing of channels privacy problem will likely be solved by Taproot Opens and things like Music2, which will make the Lightning Channel opens and closes indistinguishable from any single uh, signature output. And then there will be PTLCs, which will enable routing nodes to use different secrets when routing the same payments. So this will definitely help. Also, today we have multi-path payments, which is actually very useful because nodes that are forwarding these payments don't know if that is the full amount because the sender is blasting a single payment through multiple different nodes by breaking it up into pieces. It is important, especially if you're going to run a Lightning node, to at least have a basic understanding of what information you are or could potentially be leaking to other parties, whether it be exchanges or other users of the Lightning Network. For more information, please check out our Lightning Network privacy technical blog. It goes over a lot more than what I talked about today. So if you really want to dive in, check that out. We're going to have it in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.